Hey YouTube, Sack Guy here. Wanted to show you a couple of novelty knives uh, a friend of mine gave me back in the late 80s. He knew I was a knife collector and for Christmas he got me these two knives. Now the Red Rider, if anyone who's ever seen the movie A Christmas Story, this is what he's talking about, the Red Rider. He was talking about a Red Rider BB gun. This is the character that was based off of a cowboy. Now my buddy also got me this other knife, which is Eddie Dean, which was a popular cowboy in the 40s and 50s, late 40s, early 50s. Now, the reason he got me this is his name's Kenny Dean. This is Eddie Dean. He had to get it for me. So Kenny, you're famous now. You're on YouTube. <laughs> um, these knives are closed three and a half inches long. The blades on them are two and a half inches. And fully open, they're just a hair under six inches. And they each weigh about an ounce. Now, see this one just says USA on it if you can see that okay and that one says novelty knife company USA now these novelty knives even when they came out in the 50s on the front it's got this uh, the picture it's uh, just plastic over top of it and then the back is black. It's held together with three rivets. Uh, it's got aluminum scales on it and the blade is not much better. Now on the Red Rider, I've never done anything with these except maybe try and keep them clean. But as you can see, I'm pushing down on the blade. This sucker's duller than a butter knife. Now, I wouldn't do that on this one. It's a little bit sharper. Not much, but it's a little sharper. Um, I know the ones that came out in the 50s and the 60s that people have are worth a little bit of money. These are reproductions. Cheap reproductions, but they're out there. But I just thought I would show them to you. Um, young boys... Sometimes if their parents didn't have a lot of money and they were fans of uh, any particular character, uh, in the 40s and 50s they had a lot of these novelty knives. Uh, you could get them sharpened up and they would hold a little bit of an edge, uh, not for very long, but for what a young boy did, you know, maybe carving a stick to, uh, or whittling a stick for a hot dog or cutting some string or something it was fine for a first knife and I've seen some of these knives uh, originals in the 60s I saw them that were all kinds of different characters Hopalong Cassidy, Roy Rogers, uh, John Wayne, Buck Rogers and so on so I just thought I would show these knives uh, a little bit of nostalgia and for the younger folks that didn't know about this, it's a little bit of a history lesson. Uh, I remember when I was in school, grade school, seeing a couple of kids that, I think I was in like the third or fourth grade, seeing a couple of kids with pocket knives like these. Very much a different time. That was back in the uh, mid-60s, early to mid-60s kids carried a pocket knife with them just showed a little something see get a little close up of the artwork there just kind of cool just a little something from the, a blast from the past as they say well i hope you enjoyed this little uh review 
And remember, always be prepared. We carry a better knife than this. <laughs>